After the defeat in the War of Conquest for the County of Viennois, what will our new Duke, Duke Pepin of Upper Burgundy, do next? That is, well, the question is, where do we go from here? And um, we'll see what happens on today's episode here with Crusader Kings 3 and the Rise of Burgundy. Hello, everybody. Realm Builder Guy here, and welcome back to the channel. So, of course, a lot, a lot happened in the last episode. Um, some major disappointments. Uh, obviously, the original heir to the throne, or not the original, but the, the heir to the throne of the... Duchy of Upper Burgundy passed away, was murdered, Hugbert was, and then, of course, Duke Conrad himself passed away, thus leaving the lands in the hands of his son, Duke Pepin. Duke Pepin, who is a generous, trusting, and humble ruler, who then inherited the War of Conquest for Viennois from his father, but unfortunately lost said war. It just, uh, Spoleto, the Duke of Spoleto's alliance with Viennois ended up being far too much in the end to, to hold. Of course, um, could have been a little bit less rash with the decision on where to force a battle. Mountainous region, always difficult, but those battles were so, so tight and so close maybe gaining an edge by luring them down here into the hill countries in Dole, Bessacon, or even within Lyon or Viennois. At the end of the day, it is what it is, and we move forward. Uh, the Duchess Isentrude is currently in uh, captivity. The jailer is Count Ricardo of Cuneo, uh, Cuneo and is right next door. Yeah, but at present time, there isn't the money there for Pepin to get his wife back. So we'll kind of see what happens. Um, other than that, Beatrix is eligible to be married, but you should focus on marrying off your oldest children. Um, but she herself, there's really not much to do there. Chancellor has failed to handle vassals. So, yeah, it's it's all not great at this time. But so be it. We are now currently in debt. And we have low county control in Savoy. So we need to work on that. Go to our council, our marshal. We will need to increase county control in Savoy, our home county. Very, very important. In the meantime, of course, we are improving our relations with our members of our council, and we have to continue doing that uh, bit by bit here. Uh, it's it's difficult, also because financially, Pepin is very, very strapped, so we'll have to give this a little bit of time, but eventually we'll get there. Can't forget, he does have some interesting claims, including the Duchy of Anjou, but more importantly here, uh, the County of Fort Calquier, and the um, County of Touraine, well, it's County of Anjou, Rouen, Evreux, Bayeux, Avranche, and Alençon. So, but this one here is the most important. One neighboring ruler won a war. The king has defeated the Count of Dijon. So I think one of the decisions we are going to make, our cousin has been released, is actually to petition our liege. So Pepin's father, Duke Conrad, did it. But now it is time for Pepin, as the new Duke of Upper Burgundy, to head to Queen Amengarde and petition her. We'll see what we can do. It'll cost 100 prestige. Ouch. But he will travel to the court and do so. But first, let's take a look at here. My skilled steward, my steward, Mayor Beatrix, has proven herself highly capable, especially in administrative matters. There are some projects I would like to undertake in the county of Canavese. My liege, with your blessing, of course, take the reins, Beatrix. A vessel shouldn't be taking such liberties, so she would lose or gain. Encouraged improvements for five years, so development growth plus 10%. It'll cost 75 prestige. Then we will wait with the petitioning. Uh, focusing inward would be more important. So we're not going to petition yet. 
Dynasty head changed. Duke Amari became the new dynasty head of the Welf. And the house head changed. So Amari, the Duke of Anjou, is now the head of the house Welf. Well, one thing I want to do here and have a little bit of fun. We are going to um, start a scheme to learn a language. We will speak with Mayor Lucia to learn Italian vulgar language. Uh, your current foreign language limit, uh, zero out of four. So 66%. Let's just start that. Osorio has not been swayed, but we're going to begin learning some languages, something that Conrad wasn't really that interested in. But Pepin is uh, an intellectual. He is an astute intellectual, so wanting to learn languages makes sense for Pepin. Um, we'll we'll kind of see. Maybe he will become that kind of savant ruler, that linguist, and uh, the, um, let's not say patron of the arts, but definitely patron of learning. And we do have a dangerous faction. It's a peasant rabble, something I'm not really overly concerned with so yeah uh, we'll just get rid of that one I'm not paying too much attention to that we uh, let's take a look here inherit so we're fourth in line in Anjou Samo and Chatre. not really worried about those right now and we've got a new learning lifestyle perk that we can learn so we've gone down whole body and I think Either continue going down that way, or start the scholar one. I, I do like going down here, uh, finishing stuff that's already been started. I believe that's in keeping with the character at the time. Iron constitution, disease resistance, so plus 30% fertility, disease resistance, health, massive boost. So iron constitution will unlock that. Alliance expired. Count Wichmann. Zutphen has ended since Judith of Zutphen and Count uh, are no longer married and betrothed. That's okay. He was not exactly a reliable ally. The Polish Slovianskan uprising it was a popul populist uprising. The attacker's defender is Kingdom of Great Moravia and is allied with Queen Amengad. So, it looks like that's all the way up here. Just a little bit of interesting geopolitics. So we just zoom out here a little bit for a moment? Take a look at Europe. Queen uh, Engelberga has become your new liege after inheriting titles from Queen Amengarde. So we have a new one here. Interesting. Faction created against the Queen. Your acquaintance, P Prince Hughes, created Independence Faction. Hmm, Interesting. You can see England is completely, the British Isles are completely just broken up. Looks like um, Asturias is losing more and more land here. Aquitaine, very powerful. Lotharingia, you can see how big they are. The Byzantine Empire, still here. The, oh, we have Kiev here, Kazaria, Novgorod, Minsk. Just kind of keeping an eye on the world. Island is there. Your counselor Beatrix has died. Well, that's a shame. Let's scroll back into home. Now we need a new steward. And Mayor Lucia could be one for that. Or Anulf, our knight. But he would also be okay at diplomacy. Okay, so we're going to reassign Lucia. And here we will now bring in, we can either bring Mayor Richgat of Susa, who's a powerful vassal and does want that position. So we will placate one of our powerful vassals, and that's okay. Osorio has been swayed slightly, he's at plus one. So we are endorsed now by our bishop, which is always very, very important. Uh, we're going to wait with swaying anybody else here just for a little bit longer. Your liege has passed limited crown authority law. Okay, we are losing income. We are technically not in debt anymore, but um, we are our monthly income is not good. And part of that problem is the generous nature of our ruler. 
Ah, there. Now we are in the positive. Good. We're going to start making some money. Osorio has been swayed. Perfect. So now we'll go back to our council. And very important, we're going to work on swaying our spy master, Maria. It's always important to have a spy master like you. Beyond that, anything else here? Uh, we are in debt again. I mean, technically minus zero, but that's going to change here after the month. And then that will go away. To the false Duke Pepin. We have been burdened with your oppressive laws far too long. I could grant an extra tax lien. No, never. Peasant's lot is to serve their lord. All right, let's let's take on the peasants. Aosta is under siege, which is a, a very pretty area, by the way. Um, having spent time in the Aosta Valley, I recommend anybody that can to, to go there and visit it. It's definitely worth it. Um, I could call in allies, but I see no reason to do so at this time. Of course, we are... We can count on one ally. We are in debt now that we are at war. This is one of our major, major issues we need to work on. Looks like Theobald, our brother-in-law, has created a liberty faction. Okay, well, that's not exactly something I endorse, but there's nothing... Pepin can do about that. Kalvev, our brother, is the commander of the military, our Knights Templar, and that will end this peasant uprising very, very, very swiftly. And now we can just enforce those demands and call it a day. So the faction has been disbanded. Of course, that hurts overall our... Um, our control levels again, we're in debt again, so this is all stuff we do need to work on. In the meantime, we will go here to our prisoner and we will execute him. So gains 11 dread, spends 25 piety, but has it gains 16 stress because he's generous. But he is a, a criminal and as an irritable character, so he will lash out to outbursts, you know, um, beheading... Alessandro di Ferrara, the rebel leader, is definitely something he would do and works within the time frame as well. And, and boosting up a little bit of dread doesn't really hurt much. I've decided to send our spy master Maria to Queen Engelberga's court to see if we can find some secrets. Gaining some hooks would be important. We'll kind of see what she can find at our liege's court, which is obviously always a little bit risky, but Pepin would like to expand his power base within the kingdom of Lotharingia. Beyond that, the next one he would look at is actually spying within his own realms, some of his vassals, and, you know, working on some vassal contracts there, but... Finding secrets, finding hooks, that kind of stuff, be very, very important to get over time. All right, so Maria has now been swayed. And we will go back to, not courtiers, to our council. Who else could use a little bit? Uh, we'll go to Lucia. Uh, can't sway her because we're already doing a scheme there. But Kai, our brother, we'll start a scheme to sway him to our side just to get everybody to have... Even if it's just a slight positive opinion of Pepin, I feel like it would be very, very important. Uh, other than that, we'll continue with the county development. Or do we go with taxes? Hmm. You know, I love development and growth, but I feel like we need, we need money. We need to boost our economy. So Lucia is going to work on collecting taxes we need it, it's not much it's a little bit of a bump but we need that bump without a doubt uh, apparently we have a vassal who wants a council position who is countess Richildes of Besancon who has no skills at 16 primary heir is okay a courtier hmm keep an eye on that situation Espionage lovers, while performing her duties as my spy master Maria has uncovered a secret held by Count Richvin of Aino. He has secretly taken Mayor Alice of Apt as a lover. Okay, fine. Good to know. Fellow servant of the Lord, 
As our order of the Knights Templar grow, we need more land from which we can organize defense of the Catholic faith. The city of Matigny is perfectly suited to our purpose. We wish to lease it into service for our cause. Okay. So let's take a look here what Grandmaster Ambrosio of the Knights Templar wants and what we could gain or lose out of it. So a request is granted for God. So you get the city of Martigny. Mayor Lucia leases the city of Martigny out to the Knights Templar. Grandmaster Ambrosio gains 45 opinion and we gain 105 gold. I would lance le saunier not serve you just as well. So, Mayor Robert leases the city. Grandmaster Ambrosio, 20. I mean, uh, okay, really doesn't change much. No, I will not grant you this land, no. Um, hmm. City of lens le saunier County of Dole to the north. Or the city of Martigny in Aosta. Sure, we'll give him what he would like. He will lease it. And we just, bam, got a ton of money. Very, very important. So we need a new steward, of course. We will assign Anulf to this position. Our knight. All right, perfect. Very, very good. And a nice little bump in money there. Looks like Viennois won a war for our claims here. <laughs> because we were not in a position to do anything about it. So, has that changed anything in terms of claims? Now, we have the claim still there, of course, but now uh, that would involve going to war with Viennois versus the easier one before, but timing-wise, it just wasn't in Pepin's favor. So, we've got a new learning lifestyle perk. Uh, we will go with mental resilience, so mental breaks, time between mental breaks is plus three years. And stone of glass. As I struggle to make out tiny letters. Oh, it's it's basically the eyeglass. I squint and try again. Sorry, I require your assistance. So you gain 300 learning lifestyle experience. Or sorry, it's a weak hook. Mm, I need one of those stones. Cost 50 gold. Sell everything which is impossible to read. Um, yes, we will sell these things, ah, he d but he is an intellectual. Hmm, would he really do that? No, instead, he would want that stone, but he would not give a hook to the Bishop of Upper Burgundy. So yes, on a roleplay standpoint, Pepin will buy that. And then we will also lose another 50 gold because it is time for Pepin to buy... By the freedom of his wife, Isentruda. Khan has been swayed, by the way, for 50 gold. Yeah, uh, definitely, uh, he, ne he needs his wife back. And um, it costs money, but so be it. Uh, he cannot be without her at this time. Excommunication, Count Ziegbet has been excommunicated by the Pope. Ah, interesting. So now everybody has been swayed and kind of likes us. Let's see, county control, we still need to increase it in some more counties. So we will work on that. With everybody swayed here, let's actually take a look at um, courtiers. Anybody there? No. Council, let's go to our realm real quick. Our vassals, of course. Countess Richildes doesn't like us, so we will work on swaying her. Slowly but surely try to gain the favor there. We've been we've been at odds, our families, for far too long. Greetings, Duke Pepin of Upper Burgundy. Despite our best efforts, my agents have yet to uncover any secrets at Queen Engelbergas court. However, I still believe there's something going on in the shadows. I only need a little more time. Okay. There's anything we shall find it. Continue searching, Maria. Because I'd like to find a really good hook um, at the Queen's Court. Beyond that, we will start looking here south into the lands we are most interested in and see what we can do there. Ah, Pepin is now known for his dedication to his faith. Great. Uh, that I mean, that'll help with the Pope, but I think it might be time to also look at looking at our Pope and uh, improving the relationships there. 
Uh, it seems that my, in my dealings with Countess Richildis, I may have accidentally made certain promises of exemptions from her obligations. I have tried, but I suspect there might not be any... Uh, really? Thanks, Richgat. So you fool. So feudal taxes to you are reduced. No, I can still salvage this. Countess Richildis gets a weak hook. Are you kidding me? The, like, really? Her? I'm not going to give them the satisfaction of a hook. So, unfortunately, that does hurt our income. So I think now is the time. We've gained enough prestige for Pepin to travel to court to petition his liege. So it counts 100 uh, prestige, but uh, let's, let's go to the Queen's Court. And what could we do? We could look for a council appointment. And is there anything else? Send bailiffs. Help raise county control. Uh, we could... Okay, she can't afford to do any construction. Fortify borders. Strengthen your border counties. Grant a council seat. Is that really something we'd want? Grant claim, transfer claim. No. Smith faction, royal peace, military assistance, sponsor priest, royal visit. There's not much else there. But let's see if we can get a council appointment. We'll petition the liege for that. Uh, despite her best efforts. Okay, so she's not finding anything there. So be it. To my false vessel, unfortunately, you have arrived at a difficult time, and I must inform you that I am unable receive you and your company in my halls refusing to even listen to me the nerve of this woman this is an act of tyranny and it caused queen Elizabeth's subjects to lose one opinion of her she has become our rival well okay that did not quite go as hoped and planned well in that case we're now going to go back to our council and our spy master. Let's see if we can find some more secrets. We're going to go here to Countess Richildis. See if we can find anything there. Hmm. Well, that really annoys me. Fortunately, her military power is far too great. Um, especially because she is allied with the King Kaloman II of Aquitaine. Uh, and that would be too much to go for an uprising to try to gain our independence. Unhealthy relations. My lord, the malady is contagious. Be wary. My spy master Maria holds me back. The diseased body of a commoner, skin marred by rashes and bumps, rests upon the table. Anyone who comes into contact with the corpse risks infection and... And I was planning an outing that will take me close to mont Beliard, the holding of my stepdaughter, Countess Gerhild. Um, launch it towards Montbelliard? Uh, no. The body might contain clues to the disease's origins. So studying a corpse, one of your courtiers contracts the disease, 10% chance. You will have a dignified burial. Yes, we'll just bury the guy and we will move on. Uh, technically, his interest in learning would be there, but at the same time, no, it's disease... His father died of illness. It's just something that Pepin... Th that's an area of investigation he'd just as soon leave out. Oh, wow. Uh, Queen Angelbert has become your new liege after inheriting titles for Queen Engelberga. My vassal, as an influential duke, it's only fair that you have a voice on my council. In recognition of this fact, I hereby offer you the position of Steward of Burgundy. I accept. Okay, so Burgundy has been created again. And Pepin is the steward of Burgundy. So the liege is King Angelbert, a one-year-old. If he dies, then King Emery of Lotharingia inherits and all becomes one again. So we are now the steward in Burgundy. And this is something that we definitely could win. But I think that is something we will look at in the next episode. A change in power, a change in 
liege could pave the way for us becoming independent because we have the power to do so. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Should we now push for independence from our new liege lord, the king of Burgundy? Let me know down below. Don't forget to hit like and check out the links down in the description. Till next time, I'm Realm Builder Guy, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.